What's up guys, I'm Scuba Max. Follow me on my trip to the Florida Keys. So back in March, I flew from Nanaimo to Vancouver, to Montreal, to Miami, and then drove to Big Pine Key. It took me almost 20 hours to get there, and because of layover complications, this is all I had for lunch and dinner. So when I finally got to our rental, I ate as much as I could and went straight to bed. The next morning, when I finally woke up from my long sleep, I decided to explore our rental. The backyard had a canal, which was connected to the ocean. It had a cool swing and a nice hot tub. The main area was cozy and colorful. My toilet was so beachy. Dad was fishing in the canal while waiting for me to get ready. We eventually decided to go check out Horseshoe Beach. We had a little picnic and then mom and I decided to go snorkeling. The shrimp was my favorite find of the day. After I got out of the water, I went to see if dad had caught anything. No luck today, but I did spot a cool chain mora eel and I decided to give him the last of my dad's bait. Thanks dad. <laughs> we were about to have some wine and cheese when we got distracted by a manatee in the canal, so we had our wine on the boat instead. Afterwards, it was time to cool off in the pool. We ended up having dinner at the Tiki Bar where there was a live band and some entertaining dancing. On day three, we booked two shallow dives on the Louis Key Reef so mom could refresh her skills. Mom, are you excited? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah. We saw lots of cool fish, but this reef shark was by far my favorite encounter of the day. She swam right in front of me. He's hurt. <laughs> For dinner, Dad cooked us some of the fish that he caught. Mmm, delicious fish tacos, and of course, key lime pie for dessert. On day four, my parents brought me to the blue hole to show me the local alligators. But all we saw was this cute little turtle. We tried snorkeling at Horseshoe Beach again, but the visibility was not great. Dad found a coconut on the beach to make fancy drinks tonight. Look at the color of the water, it's so beautiful. This was by far my favorite local beer. I used my dad's coconut to make drinks, but uh, they ended up being pretty disgusting. <laughs> Thankfully, the nachos were delicious. On day five, we spend the entire day exploring Key West. There were so many roosters and beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. 
the trees were breathtaking. This is the only way to get dad to smile while shopping. This one is mom's favorite bar in Key West. Key lime pie on a stick. Mmm. <laughs> There were so many Megalodon teeth, I wanted to buy one, but I wasn't sure if I was allowed to bring it back to Canada. On day six, we went snorkeling at Horseshoe Beach again. We saw lots of stingrays and lobsters, but we didn't have our gear to catch them. We also saw a little squid. Apparently squid are pretty rare to see in Florida, so I was excited to see this one. My favorite find of the day was the super quick mantis shrimp. On day seven, we went back to Horseshoe Beach with our gear to try and catch some lobsters. Unfortunately, they were all too small, so we let them go. You're doing a good job, Mom. Mom, you're doing a good job. <laughs> oh yeah, more fish tacos for dinner. On day 8, we drove to Key Largo to do four boat dives. Check out all the cool stuff we saw. It's pretty rare to see a green moray eel swim out into the open, so it was really neat to see. Mom pointed out something. It was another green moray eel. This is the only turtle that I saw during our entire trip, so it was pretty special. This is Fred, an Australian pine tree growing on the old Seven Mile Bridge. On our way home, we saw the cutest family of key deer. They are the smallest deer in North America. We then had dinner at No Name Pub, where there were hundreds of dollar bills on the walls and the ceilings. On day nine, we drove back to Key Largo so I could dive the Duane Shipwreck and Molasses Reef. The shipwreck was intentionally sunk as an artificial reef in 1987. It is 327 feet long and it sits in 125 feet of water with the main deck at 105 feet. This wreck is prone to strong currents because it's near the Gulf Stream, but we got lucky with the great diving conditions that day.
This green mori eel looks so cool in front of all those colorful sponges. We weren't all rec certified, so we didn't penetrate the full reg, but we did swim through this little section here. There was just so much life on this reg. Our second dive wasn't as deep because we had to be careful of the nitrogen levels in our blood from the first dive but we still saw lots of cool creatures, like this venomous scorpion fish. On our drive back home, we stopped at Robbie's to feed some tarpon. Alright. You gotta reach in more. We? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Il va monter, il va monter. <laughs> <Ooh. Yeah. laughs> I was scared to put my camera in the water, but somehow the tarpon knew that it wasn't bait. There was also two manatees that showed up wanting a free snack. But remember, feeding a manatee is highly illegal in Florida and could lead to a hefty fine. After a long day, it's always nice to relax. On day 10, we tried to go snorkeling, but the visibility was really bad, so Dad and I decided to go kayaking in the canals. On our way back home, there was a manatee that swam right under our kayaks. On day 11, we booked a dive charter with Captain Hooks. They brought us to the Coffin's Patch Reef. The water was so beautiful. This spotted moray eel was my favorite find of the day. It was so nice to see some healthy reefs.
Back at the dive shop, it was feeding time. Hi, Fred. On day 12, we went back to Horseshoe Beach, but this time we brought our scuba gear to dive down into the quarry. For dinner, we went back to the tiki bar, but this time it was trivia night. But we weren't very good with American history. On day 13, we returned to the blue hole and finally got to see the two local alligators. They were so close. We went back to Horseshoe Beach for the last time. Final review, what do you think of Horseshoe Beach? I loved it. And it's free. And it's free. And it's free. And Dad, do you like the fishing? Nah, no fishing. <laughs> and no tipping. No tipping, okay. Okay, yeah, very nice. Okay. Adios. All right, bye bye little house. On to the Everglades. Hello. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye little key deer. On day 14, we drove from the Florida Keys through the Everglades all the way to Crystal River on the west coast of Florida. The Everglades had so many airboat tour options, but we decided to explore on our own. Hello, Krakow, or Gator. The Tergap is tastes like chicken. <laughs> Good job, mama. <laughs> the Everglades are so unique. Nothing like I've ever seen before.
morning everyone. So today we are in Crystal River and we're about to go snorkel with some manatees. This is something that I have booked two years ago but got cancelled because of COVID so it's been a long time waiting. So I really hope we're going to see some manatees today. Crystal River is one of the only places in North America that you can legally swim with wild manatees. This has been a dream of mine since I was a little girl and we got extremely lucky with all the manatees that wanted to interact with us. Nothing like a manatee selfie. There are also tons of other cool creatures in Crystal River. Of the manatees. <laughs> Dad, did you see them? <laughs> He's so blind. Yeah, you did? Okay, cool. They're big enough. <laughs> this is unreal. After lunch, we drove an hour inland to Paradise Springs. This spring is 100 feet deep and has tons of prehistoric fossils. It was pretty scary to be doing a deep, confined dive in the dark with current. This dive was a bit intimidating, but it was pretty cool. We even found some cave crayfish. For dinner, we went to Charlie's restaurant for some yummy lobster. On devrait manger un poisson mort. Hein. C'est la chicken. Hey, what's up, guys? So, today I'm supposed to dive the blue grotto behind me, but as you can see, it's pouring rain, there's a lot of lighting and thunder, so we're gonna try to wait out the storm. I've been waiting for two hours already, so fingers crossed that uh, it would be safe for us to dive because this is a really cool spot. Check it out. Spoiler alert, the storm never went away, so it was unfortunately not safe to dive. Mm -hmm. 
Instead, we went out for dinner and had some amazing New Orleans crawfish. It's a lot of work. On our last day in Florida, we checked out the Three Sisters Springs, which is a national wildlife refuge. We got extremely lucky and saw the smallest manatee calf ever. The guide said that the calf had been born that morning and was making sure that the kayakers didn't get too close to him. Luckily for us, we had a great view from the boardwalk. The biggest manatee is the mom, the medium one is her older calf, and the tiny one is her newborn calf. Hopefully he'll grow up to be as chubby as his mama. The park was just a little bit flooded. Your feet didn't stay dry. <laughs> Since this was my last day in Florida and I was flying the next day, I wasn't allowed to scuba dive. However, I was allowed to snorkel. So my mom and I jumped in and went exploring. The water was so clear and we saw so many fish. I dove down to check out the spring where all the fish were hanging out. For dinner, we ate at the Crackers Bar, Grill, and Tiki, which had a great view of the water. And just like that, it was time to pack. Thank you so much for watching my Florida adventure. And thanks mom and dad for letting me join in your vacation. Stay tuned for my next adventure, a girls road trip from British Columbia along the west coast all the way to California. Until next time, take care and keep swimming. Adios.